Hello everyone, it is me, Yi King. We are back with another unboxing. Today we got it from Transformers, Power of the Prime. Yes, Power of the Primes. <laughs> We're going old school with this one, again. But a bit more recent than Titans Return, like the previous unboxing. We got from Power of the Primes, Legends Class, Dinobot Slash, or just Slash. Yeah, so this is actually, well, it's definitely the first but I don't know if it's the only one. But it is the first female Dinobot. There's Paddles. I don't know if Paddles is a guy or a female. But this is definitely a female Dinobot. But maybe the only one. Or it's the first female Dinobot. Because like I said, I don't know if Paddles is a female Dinobot. But yeah. So, um, Power Prime. So it's the last season of the Prime Wars trilogy. And the Dinobots... In this one, Catcher Form Volcanicus, which got repurposed into Core Class for Transformers Legacy Evolution, which is getting repurposed into True King Dinobot for Legacy United as a Pulsecon exclusive. That's actually why they came out first, so it's something they could be purposely retooled into True King Dinobot. That's why Slug is the chest piece and not Grimlock for that Volcanicus. But in Power of the Prime's Volcanicus, Grimlock's a chest piece and this one is Legends class, it doesn't work with the combiner, but the rest are Deluxe class, and either, and either they equal up to a Tall Deluxe, or a Medium Voyager. But yeah, so up top we have Slash's Alt Mode, which is a Velociraptor. And Slash doesn't really got too much representation. I mean, like, it got like a Core class, Legends class, so I just not used to Legends, because... I've been used to core, but it only got Legends Power of Primes, and then it got like a Deluxe and a One Step, and well, those are two I know of the Deluxe and One Step and Age of Extinction. But yeah. So obviously, we got the front, and we flip to the side, it shows Slash again. And then we flip down here, it just says Transformers. Nothing on this side. Flip down here, here's the beautiful barcode. And then it shows Slash, it says, Elite Tracker always finds her target. That's how you know it's female. And apparently if you get Ledge Maximo Trickster, which is a Prime Master, so like a Headmaster, which is sort of Elite, you can put it into her, on her back, so it looks like someone's riding her. But yeah, it takes, uh, 12 steps to go from robot to raptor mode. And then what's included is a figure, collector card, and instructions. Unlike Sea Spade, which came with an accessory, but it's a dinosaur. What, you, what more do you want? So without further ado, let's get into the packaging. But try to be careful, because I like to visit the packaging. It just looks cool. They made the box look junior, like the Pokemon figures. I would honestly toss the boxes. Whoops. Oh well, nothing bad tape can fix. There's the box. You is slash. Oh wait, your instructions is down there. I was wondering, I was like, wait, where's your instructions? So we're gonna put this off to the side for a second. That's just part of my tripod. And we're gonna look at the instructions because for some reason they overfold these things, but then again, it has to fit in this tiny box. So here is part of the Prime Standardbot Slash. Here's how it is from robot mode. I was actually really going to fit 12 steps. I think it's like 10 or more. It has to be double sided. But. Oh, okay. With C Spray, I actually showed you how to convert back. But with this one, it doesn't. But it's not that hard. But if you flip it back, it just tells you 
how to do the accessories. So then you just put it into that mode and you stick it in. So it looks like something's riding it. And it's not it could work with any Prime Master. It's just so you know that one probably came out in the same wave as it. Alright, let's get this card out. But always, we got. I'm gonna be careful, so we're gonna use scissors. But always be careful when using scissors or anything sharp. Damn, I already bent it. Well, it's cardboard. Um, so here is Slash. That might be the Dinobots insignia. But then we flip to the back. Okay, I guess it's it's Clan. So it's part of the Mega the Megatronus Slash, or that's its Prime. Find and eliminate deep cover targets. Yeah, I don't even know what much just means. But now we go back to the figure, slash, now we can get it out. So, one, this one's actually easier to get out because, uh, two, three, four. There we go. Pick up the strips. Pass it over here. Put away scissors. And let's zoom in. Are you gonna be top heavy? Because you feel loose, but you don't. So yeah, we got Slash. It looks pretty cool, but it has um, translucent plastic, so I mean, too small for breaking, so I just gotta be more fragile with it, and it's pretty hollow. So let's put it to the test. Can you stand up for yourself? Or you like my sludge where it's impossible for you to stand? All right, I just had to use the help of my floor. Probably would work if I was on a solid floor. Oh my goodness, you have feet pivot. You are extremely tough. Eh? Alright, there we go. We got it fixed now. So there's Slash and all her beauty. Yeah, she definitely seems like track, especially with that face. But yeah, so let's get into point articulation. But it's a great figure. I got mine for I got both this one and C Spray from Peter's Unboxing for basically retail price off of eBay. In case you're wondering where I got them, because they're old and people sometimes ask that. But yeah, let's get over the points articulation. Arms can do basically a full 360. Um, no bicep swivel, but a bicep bend. And it's like the traditional dying body fashion where the legs become the face. <laughs> um, no waist swivel. Head swivel, but I can't look up and down. Legs can kick out this far. They can only go this far up, but if you move out the arms, it can go a bit farther back. It's kind of like there to support her up. She has feet toe things, so I guess ankle pivot maybe. And yeah, she is definitely skinny. <laughs> well, she's a female, so. Not saying that they can't be skinny, it's just that's how it usually is in Transformers fashion. Stand up for yourself, please, Slash. There you go. Yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into some size comparisons. All these guys are going to be beefy. So first we have the most newest Dinobot that at least got a figure. And this is from Transformers Legacy Evolution. Oh yeah, before I show them off though, um, the link to their reviews will be down in the description down below in case you want to check them out after this review. But up first we have from Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class Dinobot Scar. 
to put in perspective, she's a tracker. He's the medic with the Dinobots, in case you wonder what his role is. Which makes sense. He's an Ankylosaur, so it's like a big shield. So yeah, that's them. Yeah, you can really see, like... This one actually has a difference. I'm like with C spray or that would basically time with her. But yeah, he beefy. Granted, Legends was three and these are supposed to be three point five, which I thought may have been wrong with C spray, but who knows? And then up next we have from Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class Dinobot Slug. I don't know why I'm saying Dinobot. And believe it or not, as much as people display them in adult mode, I actually just play mine in robot mode. Half of the reason is because of table space, the other half of the reason is table space. Yeah, there's those two together. And then lastly, you can, you whenever you do Dinobots, you always gotta have the leader. So we got from Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class, Grimlock. Yeah, gotta have the lead if I'm doing a Dinobot comparison. Alright, let's go ahead and prep for a Raptor mode. Alright, so for step one, you want to grab her tail and swing it right up to it covers her. Then okay, let's see. For step two, swing back her toes, so then the basically it collapsed. Then for step three, you want to rotate her around, and what am I doing? Okay, you're rotating the legs around. If my tripod would stop falling on me, like, Jesus, is getting annoying. Rotate to the round. Then for the next step, you're gonna peg them together. If you look back here, there's some pegs. Then for the next step, while you're still facing her like this, you're gonna bring her legs up. What am I doing? Close the feet, and they're supposed to well sit like that. Oh wait, there's some pegs, so the legs are supposed to like peg in. Okay, let's read this again. Alright, well that was a nightmare and a half, but I finally got that plugged in. So then for the next step is you would flip it around so it's like this. Bring down the arms. And then you would drop off the feet and it would like soft click into the fists. Oh. 
you would bring out the arms then you would pull up the chest piece right there or something like that and then you bring out the head you would close it adjust the arms and you got flash in dino mode she may be a bit top heavy Nope. So yeah, here's slash his close up. I said slash his close up. Yeah, here's a close-up. As you can tell, it's translucent like the rest of the Dinobots from the Power of the Primes. Yeah, it's kind of nice when they can introduce a new Dinobot, especially while they still keep the original team. Yeah, but like with Volcanicus, they're able to substitute a new guy while still keeping the original team. But, Legacy. Yeah, she's just a small little raptor. But without that, with that out of the way, let's get into some size comparisons. So up first we have from Legacy Evolution, Core Class Scar. She may tie with Grimlock. That over had sludge out, but I'm not gonna whip out sludge. I like to keep it to three minimum. Maybe wondering why I picked DC. Well, reason being, newest Dinobot, Slug was my second return form, but that was my first for a bit. And then Grimlock being away, that's why I got, that's why I picked these three. That is the reason why I usually pick the size comparisons. Other reasons is they're just like a throwaway bot, just to show off for fun. But nine times out of ten, there's a bit of a reason between the the size comparisons when I show them off for at least one of them but all right she's being beaten up by Scar we got from Transformers Lex Evolution Core Class Slug. She also is being beaten out. I mean, like, look at the feet detail on that. She's more stable. I would say personally, she's more stable in Dino mode than in Robot mode. But it's like whatever. I say that as she still likes to flop over. Just keep in mind if you do pick up a Dinobot Slash from Power of the Prime specifically, she can be a bit top heavy. Or just not stable. But yeah. And then we got from Transformers Legacy Evolution. And yes, I'm still missing Swoop and Snarl. Swoop is available on Amazon, it's just very expensive and Snarl. When the few rare moments he's on Amazon, he's actually more expensive than Swoop, and Swoop is expensive, but 9 times out of 10, he's just unavailable on Amazon, so I was like, I may have to lie on eBay in the future. But these two have been good eBay purchases, so I'll make it more for him, transform myself at eBay that order. But into the final comparison, we got from Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class Grimlock. Okay, yeah, never mind. Slam. Put her on the tail. Yeah, Grimlock is still beating her out. Thing is, though, she doesn't even have articulation just in the mouth because it's all attached to this. So it's like, yeah. But, like I said, she does have mouth articulation. 
Uh, unfortunately, it does not look like there's a peg for bus effects, but then again, bus effects didn't exist back then. That when you came recently, with, when the first Commander of Siege came out, that's when bus effects were introduced. That and also those battle masters, like with Smash Down, for example. Yeah. I always wanted to slash in the collection, like forever. It's just on Amazon, it's like a hundred bucks. And now recently, when I was taking it off of my Amazon checklist, it says unavailable. So I'm like, thank God I got that. And it's definitely worth the wait. I didn't mind waiting when I bought these two. I say these two because I'm also talking about Sea Spray, which was the previous unboxing. But yeah, like I said, I don't have them. But if you have like a Prime Master, I guess you just use that guy, for example. You just gotta fold in their legs and they can sit and slash and then slash could travel around. Or you can be, or you can do the dock where it was like as if they have, put on like a horse thing where they have a thing in their mouth or they hypnotize them. She's like the rider. Yeah. That has been my unboxing on Transformers Power to Prime slash Legends class. Um, if you folks enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. I'll play them as fast as I can. And subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I drop a new video. But until next time, toodles!